Hi, I'm Carolina. I'm your Reiki master and womb healer. I help women like you conceive their babies and then support them through their fertility journey through uh, pregnancy, birth, and postpartum. So I went ahead and I pulled some cards. Um, we're going to pull one card per um, for fertility, pregnancy, and postpartum. So our first card, this is a group collective reading. So anything that does not resonate for you, just take with a grain of salt and it's not your truth. If it does resonate with you, leave a comment below to let me know that you, it did. And if you would like to see more of these readings. So for, I already shuffled. So for our fertility, uh, this is Kalima. Kalima is about facing your fears. So whatever it is that's causing fear in your fertility journey, I want you to look as to why that is fearful for you. And I know fertility is quite complicated and the feelings related to fertility and conception are definitely complicated. So I want to, when we're facing fear, we need to be made to feel safe. So what can we do to make you feel safe during this time while you're facing this fear? Perhaps is well, the most common fear is not being able to get pregnant or being able to care baby full term. Or once you are pregnant, fear that you're going to miscarry. So we need to do things to make you feel safe and comforted. And that is going to be a huge difference to make sure your womb, your sacral chakra remains open. So that's huge. So this is your chance. Kalima comes forward when this is your chance to soar. This is your chance to move forward and pass this fear. So know that, that all of your spirit guides and spiritual counsel are surrounding you. Oh, for pregnancy, this is Joan of Arc. This is the voice of truth. So for your pregnancy, I want you to find your voice. Your voice is needed in the world. Your baby needs you to find your voice. You should be releasing the need, uh, releasing the fear of being persecuted when you speak. So you. Um, now is the greatest time for you to release that fear and just be heard. The people around you are ready to receive your message, but right now, speak your truth. And your truth would be about your needs. It's not necessarily an opinion. Like, what do you need? What do you want? Where do you want to go? Where does your soul and baby need you to go? And you are an advocate and voice for yourself your family, and your baby. So it, your voice is also going to be used for advocacy. So understand there is a direct correlation between your voice and how you feel about your soul and your womb. And right now you are, your energetic field is much larger than normal because you are pregnant. This makes you also the ability to manifest much greater. So the sooner you find the power in your voice and understand that you are a great communicator, the better that this will go. I hope that is helpful for you. Now for postpartum, and this is for mamas from zero to two years after baby has been born. Oh, this is White Eagle. This is about ancestral pain in spirit. So basically, this is a good time to connect with your lineage. This is a good time for you to go ahead and heal any family wounds or generational patterns or behaviors that might be going on. So as a parent, how do you want to parent differently? What didn't you like about your childhood? How did the way that you were parented affect you as adult? As we are becoming parents, we're becoming more conscious and more um, aware of like different ways of parenting. There's just not one way to parent and the way you parent one child will be different than the next. Um, so just listen to your heart and listen to your child. They're going to actually guide you and tell you what kind of parent they need you to be. Just pay attention to their cues. You and that child were paired together for a reason. You are the parent that they need to reach all of their soul lessons um, during childhood. So um, we go through soul contracts and how we, and soul contracts are made before we come here and we reincarnate. So basically we choose who, who we're gonna come into this lifetime with and we come with a purpose. And brother, sister, um, boyfriends, parents, aunts, uncles, they all help us form our character to reach our, our life purpose, which is our Dharma. So 
right now understand that connecting to your lineage is going to be very powerful for you. Ways to do that could be genealogy, uh, sometimes setting up an altar. Um, I have a little bit of an altar behind me on my shelf, and it's just like a dedicated clean space where I honor my ancestors or um, I might pray to God or I might have um, pictures of past loved ones or um, I might light a candle to remember them, whatever it is that you like to do. Some people like to have a wall of pictures. However you want to connect with your lineage is up to you. Sometimes it's through cuisine, so cultural um, dishes or cooking or family gatherings, it's another way to connect. Or there might be, um, depending on your culture, there might be dances or uh, there are just so many different things. So whatever it is about your culture, investigate if you don't know. And that's a great way to uh, connect with your ancestors. So we talk about ancestral trauma, but there's also a lot of good things that come from our ancestors. They endured, they survived, and it's because of them that we're here. They are very strong and they love you very much. So ancestors are a great um, element to add into your spirituality, especially in postpartum. If you need protection or if you need guidance, they're there to serve you. You just have to speak to them just like you would your spirit guides. If you would like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I would love to have you apply for coaching down below, or you can join my fertility membership called the Divine Feminine Fertility Collective, where we help women like you conceive their babies and then serve them through their pregnancy and birth and postpartum. I would be honored to work with you and I'll see you next week.